Okay, good morning. This is Jane's little mini, which she loves. And it's quite good nick, actually. So I don't know what she paid for it. It doesn't matter. And uh, I came to it last weekend. It was, yeah, just I think it was last Saturday. And then, 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 someone, very kindly, smashed her. And then did a runner. And we've checked at work and there's nothing there that she could have caught. She does, she's not a bad, she's a good driver, actually. Uh, but someone's just decided, well, I'm just going to... I don't it must be something quite high up. So I'm going to pick the bonnet up. And then uh, we're going to have to replace this headlamp. So let's have a look. And if you're not too sure, I'm not being rude or anything to anybody, that's your bonnet catch there, okay? So it's passenger side, just down by your... Well, not down by your feet, but you've got that, all right? So this is your badge, so just here, just here you'll see a little lever, and it's just there. Oh, hold on, it's catching on the glass, two seconds. I've got to put the sellotape in to hold it, but it's catching on the glass, so I have to force that over there, that's it. Oh, you buckers. There we go. Right, and now I can get to the, the lever, as I was saying. So the lever's here, where are we? Dented down as well, look, see. <sighs> okay. So one, two, three, four, and I believe there's a big adjuster somewhere as well. Okay, we'll get this ordered and get a new one fitted. I have to push that out a bit. It's got a, if you can see, it has got a bit of a Dent in it. Buckers. Anyway, there we go. Another job. A new headlamp come. You're going to need a 10 mil socket or a 10 mil spanner, whatever you want. Uh, you've got one, two, three, four. So I'll just get these undone. Before you take them out, just undo your, there's a little push tab on the top. And I think as well. Get the little one underneath to get to. There we go, so take him out, see that? see this one in a minute and that one they've got large adjustable nuts you must sort of it's a long one at the top short one at the bottom you uh you, when you take i'll show you you need to look at the um, length of the bolts because you've got to put them back the same length because that, that aligns your headlamp up that's brilliant that's just turning Okay. So the long one, and you have two longs, short one on the top, which of course it is, there's no spacer. I'll have to have a look at that one now. Okay, so what you gotta do is just look at the distance, you can measure it if you want, and tally that up. With the same this side, that wants to go down a little bit, not too much. Pretty easy done by eye. You can look at the threads as well. Yep, on each one. Okay, just to complicate the crap out of everything. So it's damaged it. It's broke this bottom mounting slightly, broken. Hot weld that, you know, plastic weld it. But trouble is now this has seized into this brass coupling here, and we need this to go back in here to support the light so I'm going to have to grind this one off 
and put a nut and bolt in, either a smaller one, and then adjust this so it fits. Not a biggie, but time consuming. It could have been done in, what, 10 minutes? But, hey ho. Right, I'll get back to you. Okay, quick update. Ground the nut off the end, well not the nut, the head off the end with the washer. I hit it with a hammer between a pair of mold grips, so that's had to come out. I'll have to replace this now. So I'm going to use this back in here, and I'll, I'll glue it and fix it. Use a hot weld gun. I can get it back in there. Right, sorry, so you can see that. There you go. So you'll go back in there like so. I'll use a hot weld gun now. That's pretty good actually. Not bad. And I can put a stainless steel nut and bolt through, which will then have the big washer on to hold it in place. Okay. okay. Took me a bit longer than what expected as regards um, repairs. <laughs> With all nuts and bolts and whatnot. Right, so we've measured them. We made sure they're the same distance apart. Okay, this one here. I'll have to go up a little bit. Hold on. And then I'm going to get a nut and bolt and a washer. So I'm going to use that. Okay, and then we've got that there. So I might just hold it in place for a second. So, move everything. And in there. It is a very easy job, honestly. But when you come across stuff like that, that's ridiculous. So the old one was about there. You can see where the, the dirt is. Okay. Uh, see what I mean? It's just it's four bolts. Sorry, my arms in the way. Look at that, pretty good, isn't it? Probably don't even need that one in, but I'm going to anyway. So there we go. I'll wash it and I'm going to get a pair of long nose pliers. I'm not going to show you me doing that. Just long nose pliers, hold the nut on the other side, and I'll come back in a sec. Okay, just to hold it, I'll get a pair of grips on it. I'll just use a pair of grips. It's got a thread on it, it's fine. Just tighten that up. I'll get an Allen key in a second. When I say Allen key in America, they say, you know, it's not cool. What they, I don't know what they call it. A wrench or something. Anyway, there you go. And then the power, well, not the power, the connector on the back. Back in. We'll give that a test in a sec. See what happens. There we go. 45 pound. We couldn't get a, we asked him for a surround, but he hadn't got one. So temporarily, we're just going to use the original. That should be okay. All right, let's give it a test. Okay, that's good. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the vid, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe right button over there with the notification bell and up and coming videos over this end. Take care, hope you enjoy the vid, a bit long winded but sorry about that, all the best.